This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Health Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. eHealth Radio gives you the most current health information, news, and advice featuring some of the leading innovators in healthcare and wellness who are changing healthcare as we know it. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealth Radio Network. Com. Today, we're joined by Mr. Stuart Paulworth, the founder and director of Stuart Paulworth Wellness Advisory, providing personal values-based holistic health coaching. And Mr. Paulworth, thanks for joining us here today on the Health Radio. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for having me. And you're certainly more than welcome. Our pleasure and a good morning to you. So for starters, if you would, uh, help our listeners understand a little bit about you, your background, and what has led you to uh, directing Stuart Paulworth Wellness Advisory. Yep. Um, look, I, I guess um, my background, I, I've um, spent uh, quite a bit of my working career working in community mental health. Um, and I guess that, that has led me to see how, I guess, people that are in a, in a system which only relies on one, well, at the time, one particular model of care, which was a medical model that relied heavily on, I guess, medication to uh, control the people, um, that there seemed to be something lacking. So that there was, um, I guess, a reluctance to look at the whole person, to see what other factors might be contributing to their condition. Um, so I guess out of that was born an understanding that there had to be a greater integration between, I guess, the support of um, what could be done through the medical model, but also what a person needs, um, you know, for, for basic sort of existence around um, social connection, um, good nutrition, physical exercise, um, and all those things combined together. I yeah, certainly appreciate that lead in, and that helps us understand more about what you're about. Now, what actually motivates you in your work as a holistic wellness coach? Yeah, yeah. look, I've always had a strong attraction to, to supporting others um, to create positive change in their life, um, you know, issues around social justice and equity. Um, I guess that led, led me to, um, you know, study in the areas of social sciences. Um, first, I, I studied political science. Uh, then went on to study psychology and then public health. And I guess that um, combined, that led me into jobs, basically, that um, supported people to build, I guess, a life that had meaning and some purpose. Um, so I could guess you'd say that my motivation was born out of all of that I've experienced um, and believed to be true about how... You know, Nature operates in the universe, and it's always attempting to create balance. So um, looking at the person holistically um, to create balance, yeah, that, that's what motivates me, and to lead them, you know, to support them to be able to build a better life for themselves with meaning and purpose. Yeah, that meaning and purpose factor is so crucial. Now, I'd be curious, what was the catalyst for your transition from traditional approaches used in physical fitness and mental health support to a personal values-based holistic wellness coach? Yeah, I, I guess I touched on that a little bit um, earlier when I mentioned about what I was observing working in the, the community mental health sector. Um, you know, the there was a strict adherence to the medical model um, and it didn't really pay much attention to um, the social cognitive and physical health of individuals once they become part of that system. Um, and once they were in that system, um, the medication became, I guess, the ruling aspect of, of their life um, and they were trapped in that system until they could, you know, find a way to try and break free from it. Um, so, look, I started working with people, um, not based on their past history, but where they were at at the time I was working with them, uh, trying to understand their experience, separating their symptoms of mental ill health from learned behaviours, and offering people the opportunity to take risks 
to experience, you know, setbacks um, and mistakes. Because uh, we can only truly grow from experience. So basically, you know, pre previous to that, a lot of the services were, uh, I guess, creating experiences for people where they would not um, experience any setbacks. Um, and if you don't experience setbacks, you don't get to learn how to build an inner strength. So, you know, we allowed um, the people we worked with um, to take risks, to see what that felt like, um, but then to have the support around them to be able to learn from those risks and hopefully not repeat them again in the future. Um, I guess the physical health of the people I worked with was atrocious. Um, and the study of my study and um, the life experience that up to that point led me to the formation of a concept of sort of, I guess, universal balance uh, where nature strives to create equilibrium while it um, seems humans consistently pursue activities that cause an imbalance in nature, both internally and externally. Um, and I guess at that point, it seems my life experience, work, and study came together to create balance um, for people. And the best way to do that was um, was by taking a holistic view. We're certainly happy that you took a moment to be with us here today and our focus on having a an opportunity to be coached by yourself with personal values-based holistic health coaching today. We are joined by Mr. Stuart Prolworth. He is the founder and director of Stuart Polworth Wellness Advisory here today on eHealth Radio's Health Coaching and Health News Channels, a part of the eHealth Radio Network. Now, uh, speaking of that approach, how does your approach differ from other services currently available for holistic wellness coaching? Yeah, uh, look, I guess through my experience, I've, I've learned that for balance to be achieved, um, an individual has to feel that there's a congruence um, and an integration of the mental physical and social aspects of their being. Um, while many holistic wellness approaches attempt to create balance between the mental and the physical self through techniques such as mindfulness, you know, improved nutrition and exercise, a uh, few take the next step, um, which are, next step, <laughs> I think, is how internally held values, concepts of what is right and important to the in individual uh, can be displaced and thrown out of alignment by what we're exposed to socially and in order to make our way in the world. I guess by you know, establishing or realigning people with personal values, um, there's a reduction in cognitive dishonesty, um, and as a result, there's less mental fatigue um, and mental ill health, which allows people to concentrate on building better social and physical health. Now, also on another front, I would be curious as well, how has the COVID-19 pandemic impacted folks on wellness and health coaching? Uh, I'm sure listeners would like to hear a little bit on that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, well, you know, obviously um, COVID has had a significant impact on, on everybody across the world. Um, you know, we've been prevented from um, doing the things that um, – we thought we'd be able to keep doing, you know, forever. A daily routine has been disrupted. People have been in lockdowns. Uh, you know, people have, you know, uh, moved to working remotely, working at home. Um, you know, this has a traumatising effect on people, um, but it's also provided a time uh, for people to self-reflect. Um, and I guess that can also cause some anxiety, anxiety and some depression. Um, and I guess that at the end of the day, uh, it has led to a greater acceptance um, of the ability to seek and be provided with support online. Um, and I guess that allows um, support to be provided to a, a greater number of people than maybe would have been possible in the past. Um, I guess that it's truly, you know, revealed the fragility of our certainties 
Um, and I guess uh, it's, you know, there's you know, definitely a lot of evidence to suggest that there will be a time lag between you know, the end of lockdown and restrictions and when we may see a definite increase in uh, mental health uh, disorders coming through. You're certainly not kidding. What a time to live in and a lot we've gone through and especially the mental health factor is has really been uh, a difficult time for a lot of folks around the world and we really appreciate how you're helping folks in these regards, especially during these times and hopefully we're on the We've seen the worst of it. We certainly hope so. Now, lastly, how important are mentors and or coaches in your personal and professional growth, and how have they influenced how your holistic wellness service has developed? Oh, look, I, I think, you know, having people around you that, um, you know, can pr provide um, feedback, um, input, um, and people that you trust that, um, you know, won't hesitate to tell you that um, if something you're doing is not really hitting the mark or you're just gone off on a flight of fancy somewhere. Um, so, you know, I think definitely you need people around you who have your best interests at heart as well. Um, so in doing that, um, you know, if you if you don't have those people, then you're just going off and maybe going down a path that uh, may lead to a dead end. So, you know, definitely people who have experience or have who have travelled the path that you're you're taking yourself, um, those who are you know have some expert knowledge in the area that, that you're working in are always useful. I couldn't agree more with you on that. In fact, I've tapped into that as well, and it was a fantastic experience. Before you go in, in conclusion, any final words or a thought or anything else you'd like to share along the lines of our conversation today? Yeah, I guess the final thought is that, um, you know, basically we have, um, you know, there are things that we have to do in life that may not um, connect with our personally held values. So, you know, you need to understand your values and come to a way of making decisions based on your values to achieve that congruence and um, alignment. Um, I guess for the uh, mental respite and to work on the physical and social areas of your life. I really want to thank you for taking a moment to be with us here today, Mr. Polworth. If listeners wanted to tap into your services or to get more information on Stuart Polworth Wellness Advisory, where's the best place online to do so? Yep, um, website is uh, Stuart is Stuart Polworth Wellness Advisory dot com dot au. And of course, we'll leave that link within the show notes of this broadcast to further aid and make it convenient for the listeners as well. Again, all the best, Mr. Polworth. Happy holidays, and thanks for joining us here today on Health Radio. Cheers. Thanks, Eric. Again, we've been speaking with Mr. Stuart Polworth, the founder and director of Stuart Polworth Wellness Advisory, providing personal values-based holistic health coaching. And once again, the website that does it all is stuartpolworthwellnessadvisory.com. AU. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the eHealth Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more eHealth Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at eHealthRadioNetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.